Aha, there's a lollop. Yeah. It must be time to go Brobnar. Yeah, we'll go Brobnar here. I will flex here, I think. Enough waiting. So the flex, the ready Brobnar is Groke. So I exhaust that and I gain five. Big flex. Oh, it's, it's one of these, right? <laughs> flex gained that amber and then pound. Pound! Alright, gotta do some damage. Where are we doing that damage? Maybe onto. Ah, I can take out this explorer and do a damage to the Tabor as Splash. And then I play Lollip and I Gauntlet to have Lollip fight this Tabor. Now one of the Tabors is gone. Got up to five Amber there. Draw three. Oh yeah, this is done. Okay, back to Age of Ascension. This is your time. All you have to do is forge one more key. The opponent doesn't have much going on. Ooh, there's a Shuler. Could I do it with the Shuler? Watch out, kitty. In Shadows, I can gain one, two, three. In Dis, I can gain four. Exactly, I have to check. Or Tanu value is huge. Oh, okay. I should do that. Yeah, good point. Yeah. So, de this is definitely the answer here. I go Ortanu's Binding for an Amber. And I deal two damage to a friendly creature. So, let's get rid of this Merkins. Nah, I'll do two to the Wallop. That goes there. And then I reap with this. So I return two copies to my hand. And for each one returned this way, deal two damage to a creature with two splash. Very cool. Let's take out Tabor and do two splash here. One, two, and one, two. Tabor's gone. And then for the second copy, I'll do it here. So that gets these two explorers and finishes off the Antiquities dealer. Yeah! The biggest Ortanu value of my life. <laughs> uh, oh, and I still get to play those as well. That's awesome. Ortanu's binding! Two damage to a friendly creature. All right, I'll do the Merkins now. And then Ortanu's Binding. I'll do two more to Lollop, I suppose. Then a Shuler. Steal. Yeah. And then I could just go for the three fates. Now nah, that destroys all my stuff. Let's discard that. So if I get to check here, I think it's game over. Or no, I need to get to at least seven because of the gem code vendor. So let's see, getting to seven here, reap once, twice, that's actually not enough. Ooh, I actually can't get to seven here? No, no, I can, I'm being silly, I, I, just, I, I just have to fight the shrewd investor, of course. All right, Brobnar, generate nine amber and dis. Oh, cause the Ortano thing again, right? Wow, okay. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I've never I've never gotten like Ortano to do anything. So so going this, I can reap with this. And then I reap with this. And that gets back Ortano's bindings. And then each of those are doing two damage with two damage splash. <laughs> wow. So we'll just do it here. And that takes out the Shrewd Investor. Did I, uh, <laughs> maybe I should have fought Ortanu. Did I have a chance to do that? Hmm. Okay, may have been a miss there to not fight the Ortanu with Belligerent Guard or something. I think I could have gotten the Shrewd Investor no matter what, unless I really fought off 
I think I needed to work more to clear the Age of Ascension decks board. And I didn't do that. Essentially a misplay there. But now the Age of Ascension deck has a bunch of Amber. And this one, no control. No, not enough control. All right, so that's it. Boom! Age of Ascension wins the first deck of the day, or wins the first game of the day. Cow fine time. Yeah, let's build a board. Let's go. Board. Wide board. Bumble bird, go! Marmoswarm, go! Amber spine mongrel, Rusnar, go! Build, build. All right. Yeah, we're getting the hang of this. But this deck is not. Will the orbs save me? I have no board. I have nothing. Ah, this is horrible. We're bending, we're bending around the board. Reap, one, two, three, four times. Oh wait, no, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Rusnar, I can get rid of the orb. Let's not rush through this. Rusnar is gonna fight the friendly guy to break the elusive. And then I destroy the Orb of Invidious. And then I'll finish off the... Nah, I don't even want to finish it off. I don't even care. Reap three times! Yes. Check with nine. Oh, Sobog's Thingamabob. There we go. Okay. We got a Sobog. They're gonna forge, and then the Bromnar creatures are gonna be exhausted. And then that means they can't unstun for a turn. So they forge for six, flip, and exhaust. Yes. Big thing of a bob. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh, but we got logos. We got logos. And then we got a smith to follow it up later. Oh, it doesn't even matter. This this Age of Ascension deck doesn't even care. And then poke. Oh, look at this. We get to poke the Kelp Minder, which is going to do lethal damage to it. So we get this Amber back. The Kelp Minder is destroyed. And we draw a card, which was the Amber Spine Mongrel. And then Seismo Entangler. Oh, we're not on check, but it's okay. All right. We got all this stuff. <laughs> yes. Okay. And at the end of your turn, I get an archive card. Ooh, a key charge. Perfect. So I'll use Bumblebird to break the elusive on the Shrewd Investor here. I'll use this Marmoswarm to finish it off. So the Shrewd Investor is destroyed and. The Marmoswarm is destroyed because it's only two power while the Shrewd Investor is still on the table. It's tagged for destruction before it gets the power boost, is what I'm saying. So this is destroyed. I'll use this Marmoswarm to break the elusive, and then this Marmoswarm to fight this Shrewd Investor. So this is destroyed. This is just Oh no, this is not destroyed now because it's really big, so it actually has four damage on it now and i'll use fang house to fight the antiquities dealer with the assault and then i'll key charge so i lose one and forge for six and this plays around so box thing with bob nice because i forge everything is exhausted but i've already like used my stuff and then i'll play Amber Spine Mongrel. So if they reap with Explorers next turn, I gain Amber for that. Oh, and I also had Glimmer. But I think actually holding Glimmer here could be better because now I can just Glimmer the Key Charge. So all my stuff is exhausted because of the Sobog's Thingamabob. But it was during my turn, so I just go to the ready step and ready everything. Haha! -ha, key Charge! If we did get to check there, there could have been a potential comeback maybe, but not through this. Alpha Glimmer, what am I gonna get back? 
Key charge. What am I gonna do? Reap. Key charge. Win. AOA dominance. Okay, starting the game, I go Rest for Guntus, and I name Star Alliance. So now the opponent can't play Star Alliance. So I can't play these two cards, but I have the Kelp Minder. Okay. One Amber. Got this thing. Draw three. And we gotta cross our fingers and hope that Restaurantus doesn't have the removal, but it does. Banish, put enemy creature into your opponent's archives. And I'm gonna hold the second banish so that if they replay the Kelp Minder, then it's just gonna get banished again. Charette to capture, discard misery exploit, reap, draw three. Oh no. <gasps> Best buyout! Oh! That was almost just a loss, like right out the gate. Mass buyout! Yes. Destroy! Uh, gain one. Shrewd Investor. No capture. Draw two. Back in the game. Let's go. Okay, and now. This is kind of a cool Equidon turn here, because what I can do is use my friendly guides. So what I'm going to do is Equidon, Reap with the Recruiter. So I make a token. It's a Bubbles. I Reap with this Shrewd Investor, which means I can Reap with this and Reap with this. Friendly Guide Burst, let's go! Orb of Invidious for the Amber. Force Retirement, draw a card. Oh, the Antiquities Dealer, let's go! I'll destroy Bubbles. Gain one. Ooh, here we go! Antiquities Dealer, Pocky Universe. It's like, this is how this deck can win. It just kind of like comes out of nowhere with this friendly guide burst. Oh yeah. And I think I want to play this uh, gem code vendor from the archives as well. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Draw one. Ooh. I think I'm actually in a bad spot and I have to call Logos and hope that the second Shrewd Investor is either tokenized or in the bottom two cards of the opponent's deck. Just put, playing the Restragantus isn't enough. I have to go Logos and pick up the archives. So actually, Library of Babbling after the Time Traveler would have been better because I could have drawn into another Logos card. Whereas the way I did it right now, there was no chance to draw another Logos card with the Library. Okay. Hey, Terrible Gamer, what's up? Yeah, you've just joined us in the uh, third game of the evening. And if you look at the win record on in the left side of the screen here, you might see that Age of Ascension is in the lead. But now I will play this. Get an Amber draw two. I got Pip Pip. Reap. Pip Pip and Poke. Amber, do a damage to the Shrewd Investor. Ooh, I could have drawn four. Ah, oh, it was a bare handed. Oh, I just have to see, I have to see. Ah, oh, it's not a Logos, okay. Then that wouldn't have hit it there. Professor Sutterkin. Okay, draw zero. This is it. This is my last chance, I'm pretty sure. On check with eight. Oh no. Let's see. Doesn't have the Shrewd Investor. There it is. I think this deck may have gotten it. Oh, okay, let's see. Forge for three. Or sorry, six. And then I go Equidon. I use 
my recruiter to reap and make a token. Because I use this, I can use its neighbors. So I'll use this friendly guide to reap. Or I sorry, I can use the friendly guides. And then I'll use this friendly guide to fight Professor Sutterkin. And I have to stun because of the pit pit. Up to four. Use the Antiquities Dealer's action to gain two. Use the Gem Code Vendor's action to steal one and do a damage to it. Oh yeah, the Orb of Invidious too. I'm up to seven. Oh, and I also have the Pocket Universe. And then I play Shrewd Investor. Make him gain one, capture four. And took him off check. I think that may have been it. And I can also use the Sea Lander. I don't even need to. I will do it. I'll use it. I'll use the Sea Lander. So I can use this to reap. I'm going up to eight. No, I don't want to go up to eight because then cut the research. No, forget it. Okay. I'm all good. But wait, no, I have Pocky Universe. I can still do it. Okay. Sea Lander. Use this to reap. Look at the top card. Discard it. Pocky Universe. And my thing is stunned. <gasps> oh no! I used the Friendly Guide's last turn, and I had the Orb of Invidious out, which means that they were stunned this turn. I'm going to compensate by taking two Amber away from here. The orb matters. I can't let the, I can't forget the orb that messes up the whole thing. Okay, let's see what this deck does. Okay, this deck does not have Amber control. So I think it loses.